it's Lee98 here, and welcome to the brand new series, MKOE Modding 101. Today we are going to be looking at the very first thing that appears when you load up Mario Kart Wii, and that is the character selection screen. So, when you've got your custom characters loaded in, you want to see them, so you can select them, know which ones are which, see the custom bikes, vehicles, animations, everything. So this tutorial today will help you guys be able to create your own custom character selection screen with custom animations, custom textures, custom characters. And what we are going to do is start off by looking at the menu single file. Now, if you're using CTGP, I'd highly recommend visiting wiki.tokdom and downloading the CTGP compatible menu single file as that was created by Crummers to have all of the custom cup icons that go with CTGP. And as you can see, we'll open this up and the first thing we want to open is button and TMIMG. So we can see that these are the icons or the buttons that the character selection screen shows us when we want to choose who we want to be. And obviously we'd like to customize these because let's say we don't have Baby Peach, we have someone else like Bunnery in my most recent Gen 4 mod pack. And what we will do is make sure, first of all, we have an image in mind that we want to change this with. Now I have already got these images ready and you guys will just obviously go through and make sure which image you want to use so that you can select this character as it will appear on the character selection screen. So today I will be modding the Mario icon and we are going to replace that by right clicking on the texture zero and we want to replace this one with, where is he? Weavile because we are going to stick with the Gen 4 mod pack. Uh, we don't want shiny, do we? We want male. Okay, now, is he in here? There he is, Weavile. So, that's the image I want to use, but as you can see, it's actually a bit more, got a few more pixels than the Mario image behind. As you can see here, it says 64 by 64. So all you want to do is change your dimensions here to 64, because mine's already a square, that actually works okay. And there we go, that's replaced. So we'll also replace the Peach image because we want to keep Mario and Peach together. You know, we play this game because we love those characters. And in the Gen 4 mod pack, I had Lopunny as replacing Peach. Yet again, it's got too many pixels, so I reduced that down. And there is one final one to show you the custom animations. I'm also going to replace Karen, which is quite funny, but that's Dry Bones. So we'll replace that with Shinx. I'm not sure why it's called Karen, it might be the Japanese name, but that is quite funny. <laughs> so where is Shinx? There we go. And again, down to 64. Okay, so that is all you need to do if you want to change your icons in the uh, character selection screen. That's just the menu single file, that's all you have in there, and that's all you need to change. You can go ahead, reduce that all down, and all we have to do is click save. Um, we shall save that one. There we go. So now you've got your icon, you also will have the character when you hover over it to the left. And that character and its animations appear in the lovely driver file which, as you can see here, has Bat Bone Cooper, also known as Dry Bowser, maybe Luigi, all of them are in here. So 
I will open them up and show you what's inside. So we've got the 3D models, which is the general T-Pose model. So this one is obviously Mario, and we have all the Mario textures, the animations, that's the weight animation, and that's once they've been selected, and the texture patterns as well. So, what we want to do is we want to export the model and as a DAE, convert it to an FBX, import it into Blender and do the rigging tutorial that can be found on the card on the screen now. If you need help with that, be sure to click on the card. It will take you to the rigging tutorial we did a few weeks ago. And once you guys have rigged, just export it as, a, as an FBX, convert it back to a DAE. And then what we can do is we come here and we click replace. So because I've already done the rigging and that is a separate tutorial, I will just use the Gen 4 mod pack version I had here, which was this MDL0, I believe. Yes, there we go. So as you can see, that's Weavile with his T-Pose and uh, Mario's textures. Doesn't look very good. So we also want to replace the Mario All texture. And there we have Mario All as Weavile's. And as you can see, it has the correct dimensions because you always want to make sure the dimensions are to the power of two. So 256 by 128 is perfect. Replace that and there we go. So just because I'm a bit picky, I like to bring the Mario all to the top. And to save space, I will delete the I files that I'm clearly not going to use. So as you can see, that is actually saved properly because I imported it as an MDL zero. It has my custom shaders in here, as well as my extra references in the materials. So if you haven't done that, and if you need help with that, I can go through it. I will do that on the Lupany one in just a second. But that is how to replace it without needing to do any work to the model, because that is fully replaced now. So I will leave Mario open. I will open up Peach. And there she is, the princess. So we want to replace her. And as I said earlier, we're using Lopany as the replacement here. So do I have a Lopany DAE file? That is a good question. I don't, but that's fine. We'll replace this one. And as you can see, it's the texture again. But the first thing I will do, just to show you guys, is I always go to the shader folder first. I replace the shader with my shader here, create, created by Travix Man, and this one will be in the description for you guys to download. So I replace that, and that adds two stages into the shader. We open this up, and what we would normally do is we would hit add new reference, add new reference, and then We'll rename them to the shaders we want to, uh, the textures we want to reference in the shading. I will delete these so you guys can watch me do this part. So we want the has texture matrix to be true. We want that to be ENV camera, clamp, clamp, projection should be STQ, input form ABC1. This is normals, and that's true. And that's the same for here as well. You can just double click and it changes it to the next one down. Okay, and then this always has to be shader stages three when you've got your custom shader here. And I always make sure that the alpha of constant color block three is 255 and compare before texture is true. So obviously, that looks good there apart from the texture which again we are going to want to change we'll change the peach all one here 
with Lopani, wherever Lopani has gone. There she is. Again, there should be 256, yep, because I've already edited it down. And there we go. So we can also replace this one with the same texture because the princesses have two types of textures, one for the princess in the cart and one for the princess in the bike suit. Again, I'll just pull that up there. So we should see Lopani there. Perfect. And then the final one, which is slightly different, is going to be the dry bones model. So obviously this is slightly different because Shinx is a vehicle edit not a custom character in, a, in such but it still works roughly the same all we have to do is replace the model obviously making sure that it's been rigged to the correct armature whichever armature you want for custom custom character vehicle edits and I will head to Shinx where we should have the MLD0 again there he is and now, as you can see, he is white. And that is because the material references Colink I as well. So what we need is to create these textures in here. And I tend to just duplicate the texture that's already there. And as you can see, we needed three. So I now replace these with the files that I have downloaded from the models resource and the first one we will have as colink comes in as that which is good but we could make it a little bit smaller without losing too much of the quality as you can see there so I'll just reduce that down and we need to rename this as well to colink and dh so I'll just do that for the mouth and the eyes as well so we'll start with the eye, that's fine, and then rename, co-link, I-D-H, and same again for the mouth. So as you can see, it is slightly different for when you are using a vehicle edited custom character because this one we are having different animations pulled in so there we go the very shiny Shinx which is cool so now we get onto the custom animations which you can do this for even the Mario file that we've done here any file all you need to do is click on here you can see all of the bones that are there and make sure you're replacing any animation that has the same bones as your character. So obviously these don't match Colink and SKL root, but I have a animation that I pulled from I didn't pull. Boshi dude put Bashi pulled it for me from uh Pokey uh Pokey Cart. What was it? Pokey Park, sorry. <laughs> and there was this weight animation that I found in that file. So I replace it and now you can see once it's decided to respond that we have the same bones as there we go as the custom character so colink and colink so all I'll do here is because of the size of the model I know from Pokey Park the models when loaded into Mario Kart Wii are quite small. Uh, I will expand this one to 15 scale in all size and that will bring the model up to a big enough size for us to see the animations and hopefully it I don't have to move it around or rotate it at all. So I'll just do the same for the selection gut which is when it's been selected and what we'll do is we'll choose the win chr0 there again going in and that one's already been changed to 22 perhaps because 
of my original edit. That's what I, I had it as. So now knowing that, I will go back and change this to 22 because of the size of the model. So now you can see the bone sets in both animations work with the bones of the custom character as are all in there. So just to preview for you guys, to show you what I mean, we'll show you Shinx first and then we'll show you Weavile. So here we have Shinx, we'll zoom out a bit because obviously I've scaled him up by 22 when the animations start, so he's going to be quite large. There he is. So this is his weight animation, and I'll just show you what I'm hoping for it to look like once we get onto Mario Kart later. There it is. There he is waiting for us to be selected. Perfect. And then we select him. Wee! He roars. And that's how you get your custom animations with your custom character in Mario Kart. So we'll exit that out and I'll just show you the Mario animations that we've got that go over Weavile. Again, because I've already rigged Weavile to the Mario armature, I don't have to change the animations as long as they look okay with the Weavile model. There he is, crossed his arms, stamping his foot saying, why haven't you selected me yet? And then we go, here you go, pal. Okay, that looked pretty good. And there we go. So that's your driver model. Now I have one point left on the Peach and any other princess files. As you'll see here, that is the generic armature for the princesses and for every every Mario Kart Wii model that has ever been exported. So the issue that we have with the uh, princesses is when you get to the animations within the character selection screen, when you get to the part where they are selected, it then runs onto the all cart file, which has uh, three animations, one for the cart, one for the MDF bikes, and one for the uh, normal bikes. So what we need to do is actually open these all cart files up and change these animations in a way that enables you to actually see the model that you have created. And I will explain that a little bit more in just a moment. But we can save our driver file once we've e edited all of the Brez files so that we have our custom characters ready to be loaded in. There we go. And that should save nicely. So now we will head over to the all cart file, which is where you find, as you can see here, the custom, the custom, the customizable textures of the carts and bikes. So just as an example, I would want to change the color of the Mac bike, which is the MA bike texture for the Mario mod, which is Weavile. So I'd replace that, that texture there. And I've already edited these textures by exporting and then editing them. So it looks like this. As you can see, we've got Weavile. I've changed the color scheme and added a bit of white someplace else. Make sure not to change the dimensions of these. So that would be then custom. And we've also got a custom texture here. So as you can see again, I've changed the color scheme, added in a little Weavile face. And I've for this one, also change the color of the bike tire, uh, the bike tire, the vehicle tire. So we'll just leave that for those ones. But you can go through and you can edit all of them how you wish, whatever color, however wacky you want it. I'm sure it will all look great. So you can save that. And again, that's another file you'll need to put on your SD card when you're done. So quickly, we shall head to the Princess Peach. Again, you can quite easily change the textures by just opening up each bike. And Lopani, there are you, there you are. And that's the Mac bike texture. 
Again, I've just changed the color scheme and added Lopani's face in. So I'll just do that for the cart, just so I can show you guys when we get onto the Wii in a bit. There we go. And I believe because that was pink, I also changed the tire as well. There it is. Okay. So this is the princess. And here is the animations I was on about. You have the cart, inside drift, outside drift. And when you open it up, you have something you might not have seen before. And this is because the princess in the driver files normally have two sets of bones stuck together. Now, I find it a bit long doing a double rig. So you rig your character for the race where it's only got one set of bones and then you rig it for the driver as well. It's actually easier just to take the one that you've rigged for the race files with the single bone sets and just change these names of these animations in here so that the rigged race file will work in the uh, the rigged race model will also work in the driver's file and the animations will work in game because at the moment the nw4 root that won't pick up the armature that we have used for lupony which only starts with skl root and that would start here which as you can see the animation doesn't have many keyframes and doesn't move a lot as you can see with all the others what actually has happened here is they all are changed in here as you can see the legs move a lot more and everything just moves a bit so in order for you to see the princesses and this only applies to daisy rosalina and princess peach all you need to do is delete the main route Ignore those and just go down here, delete all the unnecessary single keyframed files there. And this might take a minute or two, but I go down, I click Control N, and I'm going to take away the PCD underscore of each of these files so the animation can read the armature in the driver file that starts with SKL root and works down so it doesn't have the PCD in that file so we have to get rid of it here again I just go like that so I work down control N or deletes and this is how you can quickly enable your custom character model that goes over any princess to be visible in the character selection screen. I've seen a lot of issues with this and this is absolutely the easiest method to fix this because there are other methods like doing the rig of the double armature and just leaving this alone. But for me, doing a lot of custom characters, I have found this to be the method. Ooh, and I've done that a bit wrong. You have to make sure the names exactly match to all of the bones that are in that MDL0 file of the uh, drivers. And that's done there. So the only annoying part now is that's only for the cart. We also have the custom, the custom bikes, the inside drifting bike, which we need to do the same. And sometimes you can start by doing that before deleting the others. No, you can't because you've got to do that. <laughs> there you go. You've got to make sure you don't have duplicates. Delete all the ones that don't have PCD in front. And I've made an error there. So that's, that's me making a mistake and I'll go back on this. What we have done here is we haven't checked precisely which animations were working with the specific bones. So PCD clearly for here is nothing to do with the bikes. And I'll open this one to show you. You see how SKL root here only has one keyframe, but it has, let's say 10 there. That's the one we want to keep. 
So in actual fact, this is easier. All we have to do is go down and delete the ones with PCD. And that would be saved properly. So now what I'll do is I'll leave that in to show you guys how it doesn't work, how this one will work and how the cart one will work. So this shows you what will happen when you've made an error and you just need to go back and basically get a new file and change the correct names of the armature in the animations. So for now, we can save that because obviously we know the cart will work and the outside drift bite will work, but the inside drift won't, but that's fine. So we will save that. And then there is one final file that I would like to edit for you guys. And that is the all cart file for, uh, what's his name, dry bones. <laughs> so just to show you where to find all these files within the file system of the ISO that you've dumped, you can come to scene. In UI, you have all of your awards, menu singles, present race title but as you can see I didn't get the menus pulled correctly so I had to download the custom CTGP one from Crummers on Top Dom. If you go back to here and come to model you'll see you've got the back model, the driver, the earth and the me body. Again mine didn't download correctly so I've had to use ones from Atlas's website where he's dumped everything. And if you come to cart, you've got your all cart files, which is where you customize your your cart textures in the character selection screen, as well as I just showed you the animations. So what we can do here is KA is for dry bones. And if you've got a custom vehicle, what you want is to make sure that there is no vehicles over your custom character on the screen. So what I always do is I come in and I open these files up, go to the 3D models, straight into the menu model, straight into the only bone that they've got, and we make that invisible because we change the visible to false. So. To make sure that that happens for all of the carts, you've just got to go into all of them and do it like that. So we'll just do a few because I want to show you also what it looks like when you don't do it. Okay, so we'll just do this as the last one. And then you also, if you remember about the animations, want to change these because the armature of the Shinx model is not got any of these bones. So again, I want to change it to the Shinx, there he is, the weight animation, and that should load again all of the bones that we had with the Shinx model with the animations as well. Again, we want that to 22 so we can see how big he is and make him big enough to be on the screen and I'll just do that same again for the bikes uh, using the weight one okay okay so we can then save that and that is a custom vehicle edit for the character selection screen done in the same video as well so all you have to do now is we can get rid of all of these that we've saved, making sure they have all saved. There's OBS. <laughs> so what I've done is I have saved these files here today. You can see that was around the same time. And I just want to place them in my SD card. So we go to CTGPR and my stuff which is looking quite empty at the moment because I'm going to be doing these edits for you guys as we go along. Copy it in. Takes a minute. That's those two files done. And then we also come to the other files, which is I saved into here and here, which you shouldn't do 
because you normally should keep these clean but we'll just put a date modified there because it should be them three i'll go back and i'll clean these up once i'm done but try to save them to a location that's different so that's the all cart files brought in and that is everything you need for a custom character selection screen so we will work on the custom backgrounds and the custom everything else in other videos but for now i will say i will see you in a second in mario kart so we can have a look around what we've done the few errors we made okay so here we are back on the wii let's see what we've got then we'll go on time trials just so we can check out lots of characters there we go so as you can see guys obviously we edited the icon for mario who is now also looking on the left like we are we didn't edit luigi completely the same as normal and here we have the issue with peach that i'll explain in just a minute so that's lopany and there is the custom animations of Shinx. I'll just quickly select him to show you what it appears like once loaded up. So that's what it looks like normally when you've got your when you've taken away the visible bone of the vehicles, and you can see how awful it looks without. <laughs> um, quite funny, but you can see why it looks so much better taking away those vehicles okay so we'll quickly move on to mario just so i could show you the custom vehicle textures looks good there compared to mario's there pretty good you can see how he's sitting on the bikes and sitting in the carts properly as well all of the animations work quite well and then we move on to peach which is our problem child because she's a princess so if you remember rightly we changed the carts one so as you can see lopany appears in all of the carts perfectly and the outside drifting bikes we also changed perfectly so that the animations could be read could read the armature correctly and watch what happens when you do it incorrectly look at that t-pose <laughs> so we had the wrong well, that's the that's the keyframe zero, not moving at all. Um, so what we'd want to do, obviously, is go back and change that to how we had changed these ones so they sit on the bike correctly. Because otherwise it's just T-posing as well, which isn't very good and doesn't look very pretty. But what we should I should also have said is you need to make sure that that is also the same in the cell gut and the cell weight within the driver's animations you need to make sure that you get rid of the pcd ones or whichever ones are not the animations that are t pose you get rid of you get rid of the ones that are t pose so i can do another video on troubleshooting which i will do and this will be one of them so what we'll do throughout this tutorials all of the Mario Kart Wii modding 101s will make little errors that are quite commonplace and I will show you how to troubleshoot them in one big video towards the end. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys are now all experts at creating your own custom character selection screens and if you enjoyed this video please give me a subscribe or a like and a comment just to let me know how I'm doing and any support is greatly appreciated. If you guys would like to tune in next week, we have an upcoming Dark Blue episode and we have our first ever Subs vs. Lee98 challenge, which will be recording on Sunday night, released on Sunday night. So be sure to subscribe and tune in for that. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week. Cheers.